My name is Kazuhiko Yokoji. I, I'm a manager in CAE and material department of Navtesco Corporation. I am responsible for uh, conducting engineer, uh, conducting analysis and educating uh, engineers and uh, maintaining CA systems for our all groups in my company. At Navtesco, uh, we produce uh, motion control equipment such as reduction gears and uh, flight control systems and oil motors for earth moving equipment. The biggest challenge in the wind energy industry for Navtesco is make sure of uh, sufficient uh, gear strength and uh, endurance, uh, uh, long-term endurance uh, in gusty conditions. Uh, I think uh, top two technical requirements uh, for realistic simulations are the motion reproduction and FSI. Our reduction gear, uh, a lot of uh, as very complicated assemblies uh, with many contacting parts. Uh, this kind of analysis uh, was very difficult, uh, but it is essential so that we can develop uh, gear motion and estimate the gear performance. Uh, FSI is in indispensable for analyzing the effect of uh, wind velocity and gusting and uh, structural vibration. Uh, we choose Abacus because uh, it gives us the true uh, physics of various problems. We, uh, our, our, uh, we product, produce the RV gears, very complicated assemblies that have a very complicated movement over the long uh, travel distance. Uh, in addition, uh, attaching the uh, motion de detection devices would influence uh, the movement. And uh, so, uh, we obtaining the valid experimental data is very difficult. Abacus bypasses these problems and allowed us to grasp what is going on inside the uh, component. Uh, Right now, we are focused on the topics of optimizing wind turbine uh, gears uh, enge and engagement. So, uh, in conjunction with Abacus, we use iSight for design optimization and uh, post-processing uh, automation. It is amazing how many man hours uh, this saves us. Uh, the key features that made us choose Abacus, the combination of implicit and explicit dynamic analysis, and uh, uh, recent improvements in Abacus standard. The pinion is a gear uh, which connects, uh, connects our ring gear with uh, our RV gear uh, for yaw or pitch drive. The pinion gear uh, rotates, uh, repeatedly rotates and uh, reverses uh, in a very small angle. To prevent uh, gear damage, the contact area must be de increased and the maximum stress decreased. And uh, optimizing the gear shape uh, can achieve this goal. Uh, the realistic uh, simulation uh, uh, has the advantage of enabling us to simultaneously analyze the contact area and uh, high stress, uh, st maximum stress, uh, using uh, a finite element method in, and our newly uh, developed uh, user subroutine. To calculate maximum stress on the gear tools, uh, the mesh had to be very fine. Uh, which increases uh, calibration time. Uh, to avoid this problem, a, a submodeling analysis was used. In the normal analysis, stress on the gear tools uh, accurately uh, was be, can be analyzed, but total contact area cannot be uh, analyzed. So, uh, the new uh, uh, post-processing technique that showed the history of stress on the tooth was developed using Abacus user subroutine. Now, using our innovative analysis and evaluation uh, technique uh, was developed, allowing a simultaneous analysis of uh, 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 contact area and the maximum stress uh, during an entire history of engagement. We have confidence in our analysis results 
because we compare the area and the shape of contact region to uh, actual test data. And the agreement is very uh, excellent. So uh, we plan to apply uh, this technology uh, in the design phase of uh, production. A realistic simulation uh, save our company time and give us confidence uh, that we, uh, we are delivering our best product possible to our variable customers.